Welcome everyone to Doodle Bros Gaming Presents Tutorials. Um, I'm going to be showing you today how to create a redstone lock uh, with unlimited number of combinations. Um, we use this to protect the bank's most valuable resources. We go through the lobby here, down the stairs. You see here the bank's got their all their items and then over here we have our redstone locks protecting the downstairs vault where the bank keeps all of its money. Normally I have blocks here and once these uh once the right combination is put in, the blocks retract and allow you to go down. But I've taken the blocks out for now um, because, well, because we'll be using it in a future video and I don't want the combination to be spoiled. So, check out uh, our Minecraft videos, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Okay, so the cool thing about item frames uh, is that when you put an item in them it has a power and when you rotate it the power increases so if you put an item frame here a redstone comparator here and then as you see I have uh, 11, 11 blocks of redstone and then uh, corresponding um, redstone lamps attached to it if I put a item in here and I'm going to use a redstone torch you put it in there and it's got a power of one. I rotate it. Power of two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And back to the start position. So a max power of eight because nine takes it back to the beginning, goes to the power of one. So um, you can have a max of nine power coming out. And the way that we're going to use and build that is um, well here we go I'll show you okay so how are we going to use that for a lock so let's first build our area I'm building it a little bit higher than you have to um, and you'll see why in the future we're gonna build one with a couple blocks back like this and then we're gonna build the other one up a couple black blocks back like so okay so we have our little area here um, this is just gonna be a normal wall in front we have a door over here door is closed because that's how steel doors normally are so we put our item frames here we put our redstone comparators behind them and we decide what kind of power that we want so I'm gonna have this one be two and this one before. So obviously you put an item in that's position one and two. This is position one, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, and you see that's lit up. If I go to three, it is not lit up. One, two, three, and remember this is four, so we have this lit up right now. Okay, that one is not. This one would be Okay, we're going to put one more, and you see what happens. This is important. When it goes to this one, it turns it off. Okay? Now, I have to. Okay. So, after that, what you're going to do is leave one blank after wherever you want it here. One blank, and then put a redstone repeater redstone repeater just like that okay and then bring this around finish this off come down I'm going to put one here just because you have to put a repeater every 15 blocks but it's super important that you have the redstone underneath this okay directly underneath it and there cannot be a repeater there so same thing coming around here redstone underneath you could put a repeater after like so and then you're gonna have the redstone coming 
over like so connecting all of them together regardless of how many you have now here's the important thing we got to have this door when when this is powered off we have to have this door open so I'm not going to place it on the ground like this I'm going to place it on the block behind it okay you see how that's elevated it's hanging on that block door is open we have this coming over and into it so position two and position four if I move this to position five door closes and the reason that closes is because it powers it one more pass there it lights this up comes over turns that redstone off closes the door and it will stay off okay off 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 reset until I come back that's position two three the next one should open it four beautiful this one same thing okay so right now the power is coming right to here once it goes to here it's gonna light everything up and it's gonna close that door door is closed see coming back around we're back to the original position and that's two good and you could do this with as many it has to have one in between obviously because if I put one here um, you know I, I, I could put another row right here I'll do that right now pretty simple to do we'll make this a super short one comparator we'll have this one we'll literally have this one at we'll have it at one Then you put this there like that. Redstone, redstone. Now, say you run into an issue where if you came down, you would be powering on like that. That's really okay. Um, Actually, no, that's not okay because I can create a continuous circuit. Uh, so what? So what you would just do here? Now, say you you have an issue where you come down and you would be creating a. Say you have an issue where you would come down and you would be creating a loop like that. All you would do is just put another repeater right here, and that connects it just like that. And remember down in front here you just want to have them all connected and now once I turn this one to the first position door is closed should open the door beautiful and it will close for anything but the original position excellent and that is how you make a redstone lock a redstone item frame lock um, and the combination with this is just insane because you have eight different positions here and then all the combinations could go with it eight positions here eight positions here so it's really like there's if you if you had five of these in a row there would be thousands and thousands and thousands of possible combinations thanks for watching the video if you have any comments leave them in the section below um, Hope you subscribe to the channel and check out our Minecraft or other videos on the page. Thanks for watching. Bye.